Howdy, it's Anna. I'm out uh, looking around at a variety of mushrooms in uh, late October, and I have come across uh, a specimen of Lactarius paradoxus. This is a really gorgeous mushroom that does quite well uh, in the fall. It also looks somewhat similar to the Lactarius indigo group, um, which is a group of edible mushroom species that are sort of a bright purple blue and bleed a prodigious amount of blue juice. Um, so Lactarius paradoxus, on the other hand, it does have some purpley blue tones, but it's definitely a much uh, sort of mellower color, and it also is far more on the pink side of the spectrum than the indigo group, which is, again, very purple blue. Um, that said, these are really gorgeous. I guess they are edible. I don't eat them, and that's largely a function of how abundant mushrooms are and how many of them I'm interested in taking home and eating. So, um, you know, if you're interested in learning more about culinary uses, I suggest um, looking at the internet and people who are a little more interested in Lactarius than I am. Um, so, like other Lactarius mushrooms, uh, Lactarius paradoxus is um, sort of characterized by having latex, so it's just basically a milk or juice that uh, it sort of drips out of the gills when it's damaged. In the case of Lactarius paradoxus, it's kind of this like mahogany pink color. Um, it is on the scant side, so um, you know in this case you can see uh, sort of the coloration, but some Lactarius mushrooms, if you um, damage the gills, you'll actually see like beads of the latex sort of dribble out almost instantaneously. But uh, in the case of paradoxus, it's again, it's pretty scant. Um, so coloration is sort of this like silvery blue. Sometimes it is more on the blue purple end of the spectrum, but you, you know, have uh, pinky gills. It's always kind of a good indicator that it's paradoxus as opposed to Lactarius indigo. Um, and then you also often see a uh, sort of color gradation around uh, the rim of the stem. This is very common with uh, Lactarius mushrooms overall. You get a lot of concentric growth zones and sort of variance in color. Um, but paradoxus, I think the, the cool thing about that is that you start with this sort of darker blue and it uh, turns to, you know, this very uh, lovely flushed pink. So uh, yeah, that's the paradoxical Lactarius mushroom for you. Um, you can find them all throughout uh, the fall and a little bit into the winter time. Uh, that is, I guess, one other thing to bear in mind uh, if you're, you know, thinking that this might be Lactarius indigo, uh, which is a uh, fairly sought after um, edible, is that uh, Paradoxus is usually a cooler weather mushroom, so the indigos are pretty much done for the year, but we will see this and a couple of its relatives for another few weeks.